Hello everyone. Well, this is Phil from Body by Phil, and this is going to be part of our garage gym series. And we're going to touch on some real basic elements that I learned back in the 60s. Now, yesterday was my birthday, and I appreciate that you even acknowledged it. I'm now 73 years old, and I've been lifting almost 60 years now. So we're going to cover just a couple of things that I have learned, like I say, a very long time ago. I have a basic question, and I ask it to so many people, and everyone answers what I consider this way. So, do you start with your weak side, or do you start with your strong side? So that means, if I'm going to lift some dumbbells, and I got some right here, some good little 20 pounders, do I let the weak side determine what I'm going to start with or do I let the strong side determine? Actually, in 1961 I started, I was 14. Bob Hoffman, he had strength and health and muscular development. Real basic lifting magazines because weight training at that time was fairly new. Sure, there were bodybuilders, but weight training for the gradual regular public was fairly new. In fact, in my high school, way back in Wisconsin, we actually, the coaches, would shut down our weightlifting gym because weightlifting made you muscle-bound. Of course, <laughs> as we find out later, everybody from tennis players to football players to baseball, everybody lifts weights now for that reason. Doesn't make you muscle-bound, it makes you strong and fast and powerful, and that's what we need. So anyway, did you answer the question yet? Did you think of an answer? Bob Hoffman had to answer this so many times in the 60s. So many of the original bodybuilders would even talk about this. Well, I always get when I ask it the question, which one you start with, the weak side or the strong side, which determines what you're gonna start with. They always say, well, I let the weak side determine it. If I'm right-handed, I let that I let my left hand determine how much I can lift so that my right hand can do it. Guess what? That means your strong side is going to be as weak as your weak side. Let me set that for a second. I'm going to say it again. That means your strong side is going to be as weak as your weak side. So what you really want to do is start with your strong side. So I'm going to start with the strong side. I'm going to do that because now I want my weak side to be as strong as my strong side. So when I get my reps done and I get it done and I'm using my strong side and I go to my weak side and I look at you and I just say, you are so screwed. Because what's the purpose of weightlifting? It's to balance the strength on both sides of the body equally with strength not weakness. So think about it. That's been over 60 years ago they addressed that question. So that's the first thing we talked about. That's the first question. Something for you to learn. So, you've also seen people, and this is pretty typical. Here we go. I've got some weights here sitting on the ground here. These are a set of nice big plates. And what they do is you're going to see them. This is, I'm just going to teach you a basic principle. And they start, and they go, oh, one. And you see them in the gym, like, oh, two. There you go, three. Oh, yeah, four. Well, that's cool. It looks good. Chances of tearing a ligament and a tendon and a muscle fiber are really great. But you're really not lifting the weight. You're looking good. What you have to do while lifting, while lifting, you don't accelerate the weight, you don't jerk the weight. You lift, push, pull, and I'll talk about the resist in a second. Okay, so we're going to start counting. I'm going to show you that. So now we're going to not jerk the weight. We lift the weight. 
no jerk, no accelerate. Contract, let it down. Contract, and let it expand. In fact, old school says, way long time ago, whatever number of seconds you go up, you double the number of seconds go down. Whatever the number of seconds go up, you double the second going down. Now, when I say this, I said now push pull and lift. Don't forget the resist. We usually have a tendency, all of us, all of us lift. We do one, two, three. Boy, we're concentrating on that lift, but we're forgetting that's only half the exercise. What I want you to do is think about, and you can actually change your routine doing this way. I'm gonna change the count. Now watch, lift, contract, resist, one. Here we go, lift, contract, resist, two. One more, lift, relax, and then resist, three. That alone will change your workout and give you the full benefit of the full movement, working all the muscle fibers in contraction and during the expansion and relaxation of the muscle. Now, a few of us, no matter how we lift, we have a tendency to sway a little bit. We have this, oh yeah, shoulders coming forward. I'm swaying, I'm trying to do it good, but I'm swaying. Well, actually you guys are gonna have to talk to your girlfriends about this one, okay? Because you know, they'll tell you almost right off the bat, you can't sway on heels. So what I do, we've always done this in the gym, is I'm going to have myself and raise my heels up just like if I had a set of heels on. Now I'm going to lift, lift, resist, one, lift, resist, two, and guess what? It's almost impossible to swing with your legs or with your heels raised up in the air. So today, those were the two things I wanted to teach you. No longer do you want to jerk the weight and accelerate the weight. Leave that for the professionals, the guys that know what they're doing, okay? All the way back from the 60s, they touted, don't do that. Your chances of yanking and pulling a ligament and tendon. Remember, I'm talking to you that are over a half century old and older. Those ligaments and tendons and muscle fibers, they've been at work for over 50 years. We don't want to do that. We want to take and pull it cautiously. Then it's just lift, push, pull, and don't forget the lift. And the bottom line here says it all. Always lift in control. Always lift in control, okay? And we're gonna to continue to do little videos like this, bringing old school thoughts and techniques back to us because now we're at this age. I'm 73, I'm still doing my two hour workouts and having a blast doing it, trying to keep myself and you as healthy as we can. Please, if you enjoy this, send us a comment. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube page and don't forget to check out www.bodybyphil.com for our patented hammer grips. Always gotta boast those, right? Because these allow you, without any strain to the wrist in either direction, that neutral grip. Great for the physical therapist, for the people they're working with. Love it with a functional trainer. So, 
You have a great day. Keep safe. Remember, lift, push, pull, resist. Make the count, the full movement. It will change your workout. You have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.